Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. <clears throat> I added a new agent into Sparrow and this agent works with uh, Haystack and implements a pipeline to extract data from uh, text-based documents uh, using uh, Haystack uh, 2.0 infrastructure. And this is how it works. Um, uh, there is no separate uh, ingest uh, step. Uh, with the Haystack pipeline, I'm using just the in-memory vector store and uh, uh, document processing is executed in a, in a single run. So what we do, we uh, first we uh, build dynamic response class based on the input data, like uh, the fields that we want to extract and types of, the, of those fields. Then we build uh, output validator specific to the Haystack, which uh, helps to structure uh, LLM response data in a JSON format. Then we run in memory uh, ingestion, data ingestion pipeline. Then we get uh, data store in memory. And then we actually run inference pipeline and get back the response. And so the <coughs> uh, functionality offered by the haystack out of, out of the box could, uh, you could specify number of times to re-execute the LLM call if the re response which comes from the LLM is not uh, well structured and you get the error when you want to create the JSON and then automatically you would execute the request to LLM and uh, would expect in a second or third try to get proper output from the LLM and then you would uh, correctly uh, produce JSON output using the uh, output validator you, that you have defined. And in our case, we're using dynamic pedantic class and this uh, helps to extract uh, <clears throat> number of different fields with uh, diff different types from one document and then you may change the number of fields uh, the names of the fields diff different set of types and uh, extract data from another document without changing the code because the Pydanti class which tells uh, Haystack how to format output data into the JSON is dynamic. Okay, so uh, in this case we get uh, uh, JSON response here, we get uh, JSON uh, invoice, uh, JSON structure with invoice number, invoice date, and uh, total gross worth. And uh, this is the, this corresponds to the types that we specified in our request, int, string, string. So we got integer for the invoice number, strings for the date, and string for the total gross worth because it's not a uh, really proper number as it is stated in the document with the dollar sign, for example, here. And this runs on my local machine uh, in 57 seconds. Uh, this runs on CPU in this case. If I would run it on GPU, then it would be uh, way faster, like uh, depending on what kind of GPU you would have, but probably in, in a second or, or so. If it's slower GPU, maybe in 10 seconds, it depends. And I'm using Olama uh, as the uh, option to run LLM locally. Right? So Sparrow is using Olama in, in the backend. So let's see the code implementation. And basically this uh, engine script, which uh, uh, using the uh, factory, uh, Python factory, and based on the parameter that you, that you provide during request, it will call one agent or another agent. So the agent, idea of the agents is that uh, you would be able to quite easily to add new agent in Sparrow if you want to use different technology for your rack, or maybe it's not rack, it's some another uh, another uh, out, uh, agent that works with LLM and automates some tasks, then you can uh, add this agent and call it for the same engine. Like now I have uh, Haystack agent, uh, Llama index agent, and Llama index multimodal, for example, with, uh, for the image processing. So, okay, we got... Uh, Haystack here, and the first uh, method that we come into is a run pipeline. This is the generic method from the interface, and here in the first step, uh, what we built is the response model and JSON schema. Then we construct output validator, then we build in memory document store, and finally we get back the answer by running the inference pipeline. So if you look into the um, this build response class method is over here. What it gets, it gets this list of the field names and types, and it builds the dynamic uh, pedantic class, and also it constructs the JSON schema, schema which will be used for the validation. Right, then this uh, 
build validator method. Uh, it's over here. It's using the uh, code uh, which is uh, haystack specific, and it constructs output validator. Uh, it constructs the haystack component which uh, implements uh, validation logic uh, where it tries to uh, construct the uh, JSON uh, structure. Uh, if it fails, then it returns the error, and based on this error, uh, Haystack API will execute another request to LLM and would um, expect to get proper uh, response in the next request. Okay, then we got uh, pre processing, we are running pre processing pipeline. So if we go, uh, let's go and find this method. So we here. Uh, uh, so in this method, we are reading the PDF file, processing it using the Haystack API, which is quite useful uh, to process PDF structure and uh, uh, constructs elements of the uh, of the PDF content. Then we uh, clean it up and and uh, embed the data using the uh, local embedding model. Then we do uh, we, we execute this. Uh, uh, pipeline and as a result get back document store and then using this document store we will using the will pass it to the rack and execute it to get back the answer from LLM okay so it's over here finally we run inference pipeline if you go to this method so we first we uh, reference the olama uh, through olama generated uh, generator which is the Haystack specific class which uh, helps Haystack to communicate with Olama and run LLM locally on Olama. Then we define a template and this is taken from Haystack uh, documentation where it is described how to produce structured output. Then we construct uh, text embedder, retriever and prompt builder, connect everything using the Haystack to zero API structure and then we uh, run the pipeline, pass the question uh, to the embedder, then we build the prompt, pass the question, and we pass the JSON, JSON schema, which would tell uh, what type, the how the output should be structured. And then it's, everything is executed, and then we get back the answer here uh, from the output validator, we get back valid JSON, and return it back to the caller. So this is how it works. And yeah, uh, in a summary, um, um, this kind of implementation allows you to use Haystack uh, for your rack uh, to extract structured JSON output, uh, and it runs locally using the Olama generator, and then it's also using dynamic pedantic class. So you're not uh, dependent on specific structure; you can change it based on uh, using the using the parameters, right? So. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.